hey everyone welcome back to another video in this video guys i'm going to show you how to fix if you're getting this error this phone number cannot be used at this time apple id so if you're entering the phone number on apple id and trying to change your phone number but you're getting this error this phone number cannot be used at this time then i'm going to show you how you can fix it so watch this video until the end and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos so the first step would be check your phone number make sure that the phone number you are entering is correct and active if you have recently changed your phone number ensure that you are using the updated one then move on to the next step the next step is restart your device sometimes simply restarting your device can resolve temporary glitches in the device turn off your device and then back on again you can press the volume up and power button at the same time to restart your device simply slide to power off and restart your device once once you have done this then move on to the next step the next step is update ios ensure that your device is running the latest ios version you can simply go to setting to check the new update click on general click on software update and if you see any update available here make sure that you download download and install that update in your iphone then move on to the next step the next step is verify your apple id sign into your apple id account and ensure that the all information associated with the Apple ID including your phone number is correct then move on to the next step the next step is check for carrier issue contact your mobile carrier to ensure there are no issue with your account or network that might be preventing you from using your number with the Apple ID then move on to the next step and the next step and last step would be contact Apple support if none of the steps work for you reach out to the Apple for further assistance they can help you troubleshoot the problem provide the personalized solution for you you can simply go to the Apple support page on Safari browser and talk to the Apple support and they can help you and if you need any help let me know in the comment thanks for watching